Hi everyone, and welcome to um, a talking in some episode. Uh, uh, thanks for thanks for being back, George. Yeah, thank you, Daniel, for having me <laughs> again. <laughs> anytime, anytime. As I as I told you before, you know, in the email, I think this is so important because uh, there's so much to learn from you know from from everyone everyone's story, but particularly when you you know you've gone through this journey and you're like okay, this is it, like I'm past this, and then you have trouble sleeping again, it's super common and we can learn so much from it. So I'm glad you're here. And um, and you can just basically tell us like, uh, you know, since I last spoke to you, what happened? Yeah, okay, um, yeah. The last time, um, yeah, I was uh, very optimistic, like um, um, getting rid or reducing medication for sleeping because um, it wouldn't help me anymore and it's, it wouldn't make me sleepy or it's just uh, it would just give me side effects basically and I was re already very low and um, I was I was doing pretty good in general I was um, had a very positive mindset um, and then yeah, I I, I reduced, uh, go down uh, week by week, and uh, and as I, I I went down, it was kind of crazy because um, there was already something going on like with um, acute withdrawals, like my my anxiety anxiety was getting a bit higher but I was was okay because I, I thought yeah that's normal that's part of the process <laughs> that's part of the process when 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 our brain goes back to how we call it homeostasis or to, to its original yeah, state um, regular level whatever yeah yeah the regular level and at that time it was uh, when I went down, like I don't know, one milligram or so, I had, I had, yeah, some anxiety and a uh, bit also falling asleep and so on because my mind was a bit more alert. And at that time, I found it very helpful actually to to go through your channel also. I've seen, I think now most uh, most of your videos. Not not all yet, but most of them. And I That's was long. like, oh, I was like, oh, oh my god, why why I need to look at uh, at stuff for, uh, like uh, SFI or all these FFI things, uh, fatal insomnia and so on. And I was like, maybe no, it's not possible. I have it. No, ah, let, let's look at the let, let's look at Daniel's channels and get the mindset back get the mindset back to to, to positive <laughs> and yeah that was that was that was very helpful actually um i i looked through the the videos um before i i, I went to bed i look at some episodes and podcasts from you and um and it's it was really cool because um from all this positive uh, mindset and 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 the talking about facts and and how you approach the, this um this sort of uh, of issue for example like hypnic jerks and so on um that helped me and uh, and when i when i was tired i sleep <laughs> and yeah and then um all good um, I, I, I took my last pill I, around uh, one milligram and was very low. Already, was very low, and I, I had done a, a good tapering. I thought, at least, and was ready, was prepared, for, and that was then. I could really sleep uh, very well. Then, after I quit completely, one week I could sleep. Uh, almost good and i feel very refreshed the next day also in, in fairness 
even if I sleep only my something like uh, some nights with maybe f five hours or so, I didn't check at that time. It's I just slept and it was fine. And I say, wow, that's that's amazing how you feel when you when you don't need that stuff. And it was great. I was really feeling awesome. <laughs> I haven't felt that long time. And yeah. And then I know from other from other people who also I joined the uh, Facebook group where they uh, where the members actually talk a lot about uh, the this this uh, medication and what to expect and how does it look like and so I was was prepared and all cool yeah and then <laughs> eight days or so off completely off or i got hit with the basically first uh, only only some alleg allergies like issues with the skin after eating i got like uh, red uh, red dots and and all kind of stuff and but that was okay because i knew what's what's coming yeah that's then I wrote in the group and they told me, yeah, that has some the medication is blocking some receptors from histamine. And now they go back to original state and uh, that's that's a normal reaction. And, and but it's going to interrupt, George, but uh, when you took when you stopped taking that medication, like how long ago was that? I stopped uh, at the twelfth of August, so so about two weeks ago, something like that. Two weeks, something like that. Okay. Yeah, two weeks. Okay. Okay. Uh, four, right. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, carry on. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and that was uh, and also some strange things when I was sleeping. There was like uh, it felt like somebody is some 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 small uh, flies are uh, landing on your skin and that. But okay, I knew it, and yeah, that's the smaller issue, and and then. Um, it got it got really down rapidly very progressively got got worst i would say um then i wouldn't i wouldn't sleep my mind was racing crazy thoughts and really really strange i would i was sleeping uh, quite well I, but the next day i got out of bed i was dizzy and i thought what this, what's going on okay and i dizzy and nausea and all this stuff and and then a couple of nights i couldn't sleep at all because of, but more or less not um, i put it down to i had uh, very massive massive uh, migraines <laughs> all day long and 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 also anxiety come comes back when i was sleeping i was i was talking to myself like yeah okay it's normal mm, stay quiet and that will pass and yeah it was kind of difficult because um I wasn't expecting to, to be honest, to get uh, some hit, <laughs> and yeah, and and uh, yeah. Or okay. would you say something? Absolutely. And and so so you you um you know you 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 arrived at this place where you were sleeping like almost nothing. You thought maybe it was because of a headache, but you're still mm -hmm. like, and there was some anxiety present, but you're still kind of like surprised that you didn't expect this to happen. And would you say, is that kind of where you are now or has anything changed since like this? Or is, is that basically the place you're in now? You're sleeping very little and you're having some anxiety around it? <clears throat> mm, to be fair, I was, um, I, I had information from the from this uh, uh, Facebook group. The, I think Rach Lynn also was her name. She was she she was very nice. She has gone through all this and 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 she's successfully off. And she 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 really gave me some good um, advices. 
and basically there was uh, two option um yeah to write it out and just hang in there and uh, wait for like a couple of weeks and then we will be over or to go back and uh, to reinstate uh, a small dose and then do the, the process again and first i was like nah, and i don't want to go back to this uh, to this medication it's awful and uh, but but it's it's really got down that road that um I had to say to to my to my parents and to friends and so on, and now do the the withdrawal and it's it's a bit critical and uh, I really had some like uh, crazy thoughts like you know, you can only escape when you do like uh, suicide and so on. Um, but I know it's it's only in, it was only in my head, but the the thinking was I was really like losing my mind there, yeah? <laughs> not sleeping. <laughs> not sleeping at all, completely dizzy, nauseous, couldn't eat, all this kind of stuff. And, uh, and, and, I, and, and there must be always somebody around me and look after me. And, uh, and, uh, and yeah, that was, and then some point I say, okay, I don't want to go to, to, to clinic or something. And, because the only thing they give you is another pill and then and, the and quick term solution and another another heavy medication for sleeping because they might tell me yeah, sleeping is the only uh, only or the most important thing and 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 yeah in in, in my case I didn't want to do this also and uh, and yeah then uh, after few days I said no nah, I couldn't do this anymore I, I I go back I go back and do a much lower uh, how to say taper and yeah unfortunately I had to do it to, to reinstate and yeah at that point I was uh, like I was really broken yeah <laughs> I was broken yeah <laughs> and yeah T totally no I, I completely understand if like you really wanted to get off and uh you know this happened and you know you really didn't want to come back on the medication but you know things were kind of very intense and you did and then so you went back on like i guess a little bit higher than one milligram dosage but what what and what happened next yeah so i i went back and uh, uh hour, um the headaches and the nauseous and and that was basically that was gone i mean yeah my my body got that what he what he wanted for, for so long and, and i had to give him the that awful medication and and yeah, the the symptoms uh, mostly subsided and yeah, the the crazy thing was um, that day um, I would go to bed then in the in the night and uh, uh, or at the evening I would go to bed was exhausted from not sleeping but uh, that night i also couldn't sleep because there was really crazy things going on in my mind like um there would be random songs which would um, play in a loop and it was very annoying i i still have this this stuff going on which is completely normal yeah according to to others other people who experienced the uh, same situation it's normal yeah it's it will pass <laughs> yeah I, I don't think to me it's nothing strange or unusual what whatsoever no. uh okay and, and, and but i'm guessing this is pretty recently then this was this was uh you know we told us that you know you went back on the medication a lot of the mm. nausea headaches that went away but you still didn't sleep that night etc mm -hmm. like when was that just a few nights ago or when was that yeah that was uh, just a few nights ago that was uh two to two to 
Uh, yeah. To, something like that. Do you think that's something, like, something like that? Yeah. And yeah, I couldn't sleep then, but yeah, tough. I got up the next day also, and with yeah, really uh, <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> And I said, uh, or yeah, then was the that was the then the question. Yeah, didn't got really better with uh, reinstating, and yeah, should you go to like a clinic, like mental mental health? My my parents also were very worried, and I was also a bit worried. And um, at that day, um, I had or we must made the decision. Um, yeah, go to mental health clinic or, or just go outside and distract yourself and and go on like pretend to, to, to have a normal day and and that was then the case yeah it was <laughs> again very very tough yeah so, so, you, so for, you did that you, you kind of decided i'm just gonna sort of pretend i'm having a normal day and like ride through this thing Right, right through this thing. Yeah, go out, go go a bit, um, go walking, and go to the. Uh, yeah, we visited my grandparents, and uh, yeah, um, and and go on, go on basically, yeah. and pretend that there's nothing. And uh, <laughs> good thing is, in the, the evening, I was I was not feeling tired really. Again, very strange, but I go to bed and and I slept fine. Oh, you did? Was just, nice. Yeah, that was just last night. <laughs> last night, uh, I go to bed, slept, and then I wake up and I didn't even check the time or something, but it was already in the morning. So, <laughs> it's, it's, it's probably, I, I don't know, maybe eight, seven, no, sorry, six, I think six hours, seven hours or so, slept quite deep and quite well and yeah that's nice I'm, I'm glad to hear that there's always something to learn from from everything that happens and 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 you know how are you felt today have you still have had that uh, you know a lot of thoughts a lot of kind of looping songs and all that stuff or are you feeling different today or are you feeling the same yeah i must say i feel like uh not 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 normal uh, not complete not back to normal still having this uh looping songs looping thoughts and and also from my memories, really out, uh, uh, not not as sharp, and and but this gives you, this gives you gives me. It's actually good. It gives me the con con uh, how to say confidence. Um, confidence that uh, I sleep good and my memory is out. So it's it's kind of, it's I can put it down to the medication and. Uh, and 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 this did really i must say there must be some people out which do good on this medication and it's good that there is something like that but for myself it's like uh it's really like a poison and uh now i say i would rather sleep two hours or one hour on or nothing on my own <laughs> than than six or seven hours with with a medication like that and then feel awful the whole day right. <laughs> right 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 totally here okay well i you know thanks for sharing this uh georgia and i think you know that gave me a very complete picture of i think what's what's happened lately and i want to say this you know to you and everyone that's tuning in nothing i say here's medical advice at all it's just I'm just sharing thoughts that pop up as i hear this and then we can have just a conversation about this but you know um if you would you know, having gone through this like experience of the last two weeks, like, um, I, I think a lot of things in this experience are kind of conflicting, right? Because for example, you have, you know, you stop taking medication and you really didn't have any problems until about seven mm -hmm. or eight days after that. Mm -hmm. Then there was a little bit of issues and then that kind of like escalated you went back on the medication, which made your nausea better, but you didn't sleep more. And then you had a, another sleep. And then yesterday night, you actually slept more, but you don't feel better during the day. Like how, like if you take all that into like account, like 
to you, how does this make sense or does it just not make sense? Yeah, for me, it's for me, it's it's it's, it's a bit crazy. Yeah, it's it's um, my opinion is medication like this really um, really I don't know uh, messes up that messes up a lot of chemistry in in, in, the, in our receptors or in the brain and and, and yeah. It's, you know, you, what you're sharing, George, is like what's that's the most common. When I when I ask people, like um, for example, like mm -hmm. people tell me, like, oh, this medication works sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't work. Then I, I often ask people, what? Why do you think that is? And the most common question I hear is something like, well, I must have metabolized it differently one night, maybe because of what I ate mm -hmm. or something like that, and other nights my body responds to it this way because of this and that. And, but, but in, in my mind, what it tells me is that um, the chemicals in the medication are actually, they don't really matter much at all. It's all how we think about things that truly matter because ultimately the way I see it, that is the only way one can logically explain what happens. So uh, if we contextualize your story and kind of like my, with my eyes, I'll just share to you how I how I think of this, and then you can respond yeah. how this makes sense to you or not. But to me, it's like okay, the fact that you can taper down on a medication and stop taking it, and you really don't have any struggle with sleep, it tells me that the medication never really did anything. Um, whenever it seems to help, it's to me it's because of this process I call delegation, which is basically that yeah. you know. You, you've heard me talk about this probably, but like when we when we have a lot of struggle with sleep, you're like, I gotta sleep, I have to find something to sleep. We're really trying to sleep. And then someone says, take this medication. And then we're like, oh, this is it. This is gonna take care of sleep for me. You take it and two things happen. One, you take a medication, there's some chemicals flowing around in your body, mm -hmm. but also you're aware that you take the medication and that makes you think, good, now I don't have to do anything. And, and when you delegate to like the medication in this case, you stop doing anything and that act of delegation, the thought, I don't have to do anything, that allows you to sleep, uh, not the chemicals themselves. So then somebody can taper off a medication, they're fine. And they think maybe they think that it was, I did this like really nice gradual taper, that was everything went well. But in reality, in my mind, it's just like it has nothing, the chemicals, the milligrams have nothing to do with it. It's all about like your belief. And then you come off a of medication and you do fine and you're like, good, uh, I, I got past this thing, I'm fine. But there's still a part of your brain that is like a little bit unconvinced, right? The brain is the safety machine. It always wants to keep us safe. So it's always looking for kind of like something like, is everything all right? Is this okay? Is this okay? And then something happens like you have some dots on your skin, for example, and then the breast safety thing is like, is this okay? Let me Google it. Yes, I heard, oh, that's okay, fine. You feel like reassured. But the brain is still searching, looking for potential problems. And then something else happens and it's like, oh no, this is a real problem. Something's back, something's happening. This is not supposed to happen. And then, you know, you're sort of back in a place of you're, you're afraid. There's a safety concern. And then we're anxious, then we sleep very little. And again, to me, the medication has nothing to do with this. It's all just our, our safety ideas, like the, the way we mm -hmm. protect ourselves. And then, and then very often we now end up in this position of conflict where it's like, dang it, I'm really, really struggling. I came off this medication. Should I go back or should I not go back? And to me, whether someone goes back taking that medication or not, it really, it doesn't matter. It, to me, it doesn't matter at all. It's like, it's like taking a vitamin, like you take a vitamin or not, it doesn't matter. But the conflict, the thinking that if I take this medication, it means I did something very wrong. I failed in my effort. I, I couldn't do it. I, I, you criticize yourself, uh, you know, that, and if I, if, I, if I don't take it, I'm gonna suffer for months. That's not good either. And there's so much tension in this decision. Should I take it or not? It's like, oh, not, not, neither is good. And that tension creates so much friction and problems like blah, blah, blah. And then you finally take a medication and kind of two things happen. One is that there's sort of relief because the, the decision has been made. I went back on it. And that can lead to things like 
no more nausea, you know, no more headaches. The decision is made. All the tension from trying to make a decision is gone. But on yeah. the flip side, the anxiety, the, there's still some fear there. So you may not sleep that night because there's still some like, but what if I don't sleep those thoughts? And then I go to say like one last thing here, which is that then, you know, you have two sleepless nights and then the third night is almost like there's no expectation. I don't even feel sleep. I probably won't even sleep. And then you're not trying to sleep again. And then sleep happens because, you know, you're not <laughs> to sleep and there you go. So like, I don't know, you're laughing. So I think you saw something of this resonated. But what do you think when I say all this? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, one thing I, I it, it, it's, yeah, it sounds very logic to me. And, and, um, and uh, the other thing is, it's, it's really like, um, I felt when I took this medication, it, it, it did nothing to me. It, maybe the first, first few, first few, when I, first few weeks when I took it, maybe I feel a little bit sedated. Yeah. But now, nowadays, when I when I take it, I feel nothing and uh, not even sedation or or, or or something. And yeah, it's it's really like kind of I can I can also pop a, a placebo and it would be the same. And uh, but one thing I I I um I really um when I look at this is. The side effects, I would say, is is, is real. Some some might 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 be not real and and, and only thoughts or so on, but the other side effects, I think, is is pretty real and 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 all, all, all yeah that that with the red dots and so on, absolutely yeah when we see them and uh, or or feel dizzy, our mind goes more in this stage like. Uh, Hyper alert! Yeah, what's going on now? Is it is it critical? Yeah, must I be concerned? Okay, what well, then? I, I lay in the bed and at night, then I worry. Oh, the the, the red dots. Maybe they not don't go away, or do I have permanent <laughs> damage from it or something? And and then the, the the racing thoughts go on, and and then there's again the more more um, the more worry, <laughs> the more. Uh, the more struggle, the more symptoms and everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, 100%. Yeah. I, I uh, you know, I say this to you, George, and everyone, anyone else who tunes in that there's no question that medications have side effects, 100%. And if anyone is experiencing a side effect that they think is dangerous, then of course, always when you think, yeah. you're, talk to your doctor. But but um, oftentimes it could be that uh, side effects are real, but uh, how we react to the side effect can be mm -hmm. much more important than the side effect itself. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, one more thing I really want to talk about because I haven't talked much about this on the channel at all, and I think it can be important. It is that um, one thing that makes people often very confused and scared, even, is when they have trouble sleeping and they feel like nauseous, even vomiting, no appetite, and that can seem like this is something is really wrong with me because I feel these things. But I, you know, when you think about like the uh, the kind of safety emotions that our brain has, we, we there's like these five core emotions that we often talked about. It's like happiness, sadness, fear, anger, and disgust, right? And uh, happiness is not deployed when we're scared. Like that's for other things, right? But the other four, uh, when we're when something is like threatening to us, we can become angry um, to fight back, right? We can become scared, so we hide or something like that. Sad, we can become sad, so we kind of like don't do anything, just play it safe. But the one that is kind of confusing is disgust. And when the brain is kind of confused, it doesn't know what to do. It can throw all of them out there. Like you become angry, yeah. sad, fearful, and disgust can be thrown in there too. So oftentimes you can have this like, ugh, like the body's just trying to keep safe by like getting rid of like something you think is dangerous, like food poisoning type of thing. Like, so oftentimes like disgust, no appetite, vomiting can be part of like um, a safety response too. So. Just something that uh, I think can be helpful for anyone. But does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. And and uh, and um, what what I said. Um, yeah, when I got in this uh, this uh, I think it's called post post acute withdrawal stage or something. Um, my mind would go also in this hyper mode. 
because of the nausea and uh, and all the symptoms, the red eyes and so on. And I was so hyper alert. I was even thinking, my um, it's 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 crazy. Can I can I even lose my lose my mind? Yeah, I have all these uh, conditions, and and now it would be also important to sleep to get a healthy sleep. Yeah, to to overcome this because the 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 community also said, yeah. If you are in this stage, it's a, it's very important that you sleep well for your healing process, that the brain can go back and so on. And I was like, oh my God, no, nah. maybe there is, there is, ah, I should consider it. Yeah, I must sleep to go back to normal. And yeah, it's, it's it drives to, it drove me crazy. Yeah. Uh, I totally hope hear it. So I understand that this Facebook community you, you were part of, or you are part of, it was more about like how to come off certain medications, but it, th that group had nothing to do with insomnia per se. Mm, no, not they, they, that group. Um, they mentioned they mentioned the, that we can expect the rebound insomnia when we when we are off. And but also I read some comments like, yeah, make sure you 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 you, you still get some sleep and and take this and that and on. <laughs> But my, my, I had already my mind up. I don't need to take any any vitamin or any anything or, or melatonin or something to sleep. That the sleep will come, yeah. And yeah, and uh, but it's 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 kind of difficult in in this stage where the mind is hyper alert and absolutely yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent. It's can get so confusing. You're like, oh, okay. I feel nauseous. It's because I don't sleep, so I have to sleep more. But I can't sleep, and if I don't sleep, then I it, it can be really confusing. And it's very common to think like I think I'm losing my mind, or like it's very common to think that. Now, you know, maybe like going from one thing to the other a little bit here. But when we spoke last time, you know, um, one thing that you shared was that uh, you had gotten to a place where you weren't struggling with sleep you know thanks to like sleep restriction like going to bed at this time getting up at this time and one of the ideas you had were like if i have problems again i know what to do which i mm -hmm. always think is a little that's a tricky one tricky one but <laughs> did you sort of try that again or, or or did you not um actually no i i didn't try it again um i was uh the only thing I would, uh, was um, really pushing through myself is get up in the get up in the morning to 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 do something and, and go on with the day. Yeah. Absolutely. But uh, but at what time I go to bed, I I wouldn't be too concerned about it. No. I, I, no. It makes me makes me really glad to hear that because I think um, it can mm. easily become that thing like oh I, I got to try this thing now again and then oh it didn't work this time it worked last time it. it it can lead to another rabbit hole there for sure and so okay i think uh you know this is a very valuable discussion we had and uh um i'm talking like on behalf of myself and the community i hope i hope you agree george but uh, like at this point in time at this moment if you will do you find do you feel like okay i, I think i have some clarity and i sort of know what to do or just still things still feel kind of confusing or how are you in this moment um, in this, uh, just yesterday or two days ago, I was very lost, um, very ho hopeless. I would say very, very down, really depressed. And um, but at now, at the moment, um, I'm kind of like, okay, I, I will take my time, not rush it, and uh, I would not worry also about sleeping. And and no, I, I'm very. Um, positive positive again and and also one one thing i, I yeah. can share or um, one experience i made is um which is maybe <laughs> interesting at at, uh, at now nowadays in all this co coronavirus um pandemic is um i had the virus and back in february and i had uh, symptoms ongoing and and you would read it everywhere like when you are uh in fact when you have such a such a disease 
the most important thing is to get the rest with sleep and sleeping and so on. But to be fair, my sleep was 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 crazy and was uh, everything else than good. But uh, anyway, uh, I I recover. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. I'm so glad. Thanks. Thanks so much for sharing that. It means a lot. It means a lot that you share that. And you know, I totally agree with you. It's there's no evidence that that's a problem, and you're kind of a living <laughs> living example of that. And um, I guess I just I just want to say like one last few things um, uh, that came to mind here, which was that I get, as you can imagine, I get so many questions about like medications. Should I go back and should I not bake it? What? How should I get off of it? How should I do this and that? And and one thing that again, you know, what I think creates the most problems is actually the conflict of thinking like, why am I taking this? I shouldn't take this. What's wrong with me? Or why am I not like that? Thinking so much about what it means to take medication or not, I think that can create a trouble much more than taking something or not. And and so sometimes I, I share with people that it, it's like think if we think about um, our relationship with a medication that's been prescribed, let's say, or a vitamin, think about it. like we approach them completely differently. The medication we think of like it's so important if I take it or not, and it's going to do this or it's not going to do that, and this and that can happen. A vitamin, we think of like, uh, it may help a little bit, maybe not. I'm just going to take it, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and so it leads us to like, we have no struggle with the vitamins because we don't approach them with that super, like it's so important to take it or not. And so sometimes I think it can be helped to like think of medications almost like we approach them the same as we do a vitamin. Like we, we think that maybe, maybe this can help me. And maybe it doesn't help super much either, but maybe it can help me and it's okay to take it. I don't have to judge myself for taking it. It's And I do it, by the way we take vitamins from a place of self-love, self-care. It's kind of like we feel good about taking them. Why can't we yeah. think of that as medications? Like I take this for myself to make myself better. And so then we have that more kind of like kind and gentle approach with ourselves and, and the things we take. I think everything just becomes so much easier, but uh, does yeah. that resonate? Yeah, absolutely. In my case, I, I from the beginning on, there was a, a huge conflict uh, with, with myself and uh, and, and taking medications for sleeping and so on, and uh, and I was always against against this um, against this medication. But at, at that time, I, I I was ill and I was I was really thinking like I must sleep. I must force myself to sleep to get a healthy sleep and to to recover. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. But it's a, it's it was a big a big big conflict a big conflict and massive conflict and 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 more and more struggle yeah even even more and now I see also getting on medication or getting off medication it's 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 the same I think with with the sleeping yeah the more pressure you put yourself to get off these things the more struggle. Exactly. 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 Right. It's so weird. It's so paradoxical. But the more you sort of like, I'm okay taking this, it becomes easier to get off. It's like I, I, I have to stop taking this. It's hard to take it off. So exactly the same kind of thinking I have on this. But uh, yeah, I'll just say like you know, thanks for coming on again. And this this means a lot to the community uh, that you share this. And uh, I'm glad. I'm glad. You know, like uh, things were easier today than the last few days. And I would just say like um, the community's here, I'm here, just leave comments or we can talk again and we'll go from there. Yeah, thank you, That's Daniel. And, and thank you for always <laughs> replying to the comments in the in the YouTube, very, very helpful. Anytime, we'll talk soon, okay. Thank you, bye. bye, -bye.